3D printers are being used to build everything from rocket launchers to replicas of cardiac patients' hearts. Pretty amazing. Kenny mm -hmm. Choi introduces us to a North Bay teenager who's taking his 3D printing skills to a whole nother level that could one day save lives. Okay, this thing's about to go crazy. High school sophomore Ryan Kunkel is getting closer to building one of the fastest 3D printers in the world. It's a hobby he picked up a couple years ago. You're thinking of ideas. It's like, how can I... How can I make this better? The 16 year old shows us a growing collection of machinery in his attic. So all this wiring um, I did by hand. Attention to detail is part of why he's building a newly launched 3D printing business into something much bigger. Layer by layer it will stack up and eventually become a 3D object. Kunkel's fascination with product design got the attention of UCSF medical doctor Yaron Gestalter. The pulmonologist is working with a teenager to build a medical device that could one day help lung patients in a major way. One of the things that I'm hoping is that it would reduce the amount of hospitalization time for patients. They can't divulge many details yet. Kunkel is the machinist rather than engineer. I never thought like someone would like, want to do prototyping medical tools with me. It was just, it blew my mind. The teenager is getting credit for how quickly the project has advanced. He performed at a level far greater than I would have expected for a high school kid. It makes me want to strive to be better. Besides working on the prototype, Kunkel has been printing 3D models of Mount Tamalpais, inspired by the rare dusting of snow in February. Seeing the entire thing like completely white one morning, I was just in awe. I, it was just it was crazy. He's making snow globes and selling them just like the Mount Tam Christmas ornaments he posted online. People want it. It's like, I want six. I'm like, oh, I had to get this all going. Like, <laughs> I was before I had an, another printer. Not only that, Kunkel gave half the profits to the Marin County Bicycling Coalition to help underrepresented students gain access to bicycles. It was a frantic, like, I'm going to spend as much time as I can to get this out to everyone I can. What began as a hobby could turn into a booming business, philanthropy, and who knows what's next.